the tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And tail. Here. At last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. 
so much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Dantea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. 
Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya gave him the care he needed. My Charles, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace, and you deserve to rest. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly, tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Good night, my dear.
Yes? A moment more of your time, if you don't mind. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. Have you been to the meeting house recently? Minister Davenport closed it. No matter. God needs no other house than his servants' hearts. I'll say no more, for there is no more to say. You may have your time back with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte? You came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down, said it was dangerous. Imagine, worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling, only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools?
thick skin, right? I'm sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right, I do. New Eden is dying and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. There's no hope for New Eden then? Not till the weather changes and it don't look like changing. What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick as you can get it home. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it, so what'll be the use? So, the curse. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad, and I know we found the Reverend dead. What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty, but the captain does. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clatwagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. I hear some folk have been having nightmares. Are you amongst them? Not I. I'm not one to be on to buy ghosts or what have you. I sleep silent and sound and have no dreams at all. Anyone who says different is a liar. Can I ask you about the meeting house? I never went there much. Davenport had ribbed me for it, but I'm not one for sitting. We'll stay away from the meeting house now. I suggest you do the same. Well then, thank you for your help. Aye. Governor. How may I be of service to you? Did you disagree with the Reverend's approach to the curse? I did. But what of it? I'm not a banisher. I'm a man of God. What's your problem with banishers? Do you disapprove of us? What does that matter? You're here, and I shall open the company purse and pay you for your work, when it's done. Do you have bad dreams, Governor? Yes. We spoke of that, Charles and I. Your conclusions? I am convinced that an unidentified evildoer has summoned a demon and inflicted it upon the people of New Eden. According to Henry Boggett, in his discourse, execrable de sorciers. Certain demons can provoke insomnia or bad dreams. Alu, for instance. The minister, contrarily, believed we were facing a ghost. He convinced us to hire you. 
I desperately hoped that he was right and I was wrong. Have you dreamed of the meeting house? No. Wait. Now that you mention it, I do not dream of it, but lately it dominates my thoughts in a way not pertinent to its importance. As if there I had some business, unknown, unknowable, and most of all, unfinished. I'll go now. I'll still be here if you need me. What now? Thick skin fears you may give up. Will you? I do not give up. But think on this. If the curse is God's punishment, should we not surrender? <laughs> Thick skin's view is enviably simple. Tell me about Thick skin. I wish my men had half her temper. They'd be warriors and survivors all. Do you fear God's punishment? Don't you? I hear the curse brings bad dreams. Do you have nightmares, sir? My sleep is mind to mind, as is my humour when I wake. On both businesses, I suggest you occupy yourself with your own. What can you tell me about the meeting house? Davenport closed it. You sound surprised. I am not. Do not go to the meeting house. Don't. And should I be in some way unclear, do not go to the meeting house. I'll come back later. I'll be here until I'm not.
did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McGrath. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Other than that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to it. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you would they? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be, a, what did he call it, a nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Took her firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting house, are you?
Who's there? And there? I suppose you spectres have seen Antea, have you? and all, but you could have included me.
how they run, see how they run, three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run, see how they run, three blind three blind mice, see how they run, see how they you see? We never stood a chance. Dear, are you hot? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, <laughs> Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Slay the righteous. Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done, my love? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her. You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Sancia, if you laid a finger on her... You what? Come to her aid? But there is no aid. There is oh. only... Oh. Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark oh. of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak.
Will you come to her aid now, when all is lost? If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Go, take me instead. Let her go. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She is dead. Yes. That's why you're here, and why I was sent to look after you. <laughs> 